Hey guys, this is Mr. Crayfish and welcome back to my Redstone Tutorials. In this tutorial today, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to build this armor stand swapper. So all you simply have to do is press this button here and what it will do is it will swap the armor that is displayed in front of you and you can go ahead and grab the armor off the stand here, put it on you and you can go off to battle. And then you come back and maybe, ah oh, nah, I need the diamond armor because I'm going into a very tough battle. Let's put that back on and let's get our diamond armor out so that's the gold we don't want that the diamond let's grab that so there we go I'm going to be teaching you guys how to build this today so what you are going to need is eight redstone dust one redstone torch one stone button three sticky pistons, two blocks of redstone, two wooden trap doors or you can get iron ones if you like, one slime block, four glowstone, one furnace, three armor stands and 64 blocks of your choice. Now the first thing that we need to do is dig a five long trench. So one, two, three, four, five. And then what we need to do is dig this down seven more times. So one, two, three, four, five, six, six and seven. Now at the front here, what we want to do is place three redstone dust, get one of our blocks of choice, place it at the end of the redstone dust, and then on top of that, pop the redstone torch, come to the front here, and what we want to do is on the fourth block up, so that's one, two, three, and four, we want to place a sticky piston facing downwards, and then pop a block of redstone underneath it. Then on this redstone here, we want to place a sticky piston facing upwards, so jump and place the sticky piston. Then on top of this torch here, you want to place your furnace. Now some people ask why I use a furnace in my designs. Well, slime blocks don't actually stick to furnaces, so they don't move. Now what we need to do before we place this slime block is dig the block to the left and the right of us, and then dig the one below it, just so the um, slime block here doesn't stick to the dirt. Then you want to place your slime block on top of the sticky piston. Then on top of the furnace here, hold crouch and then you want to place a piece of redstone dust on top of there. At the back here behind the redstone, place a glowstone dust and then put redstone on top of there. Place glowstone dust on top of this here. Redstone on top of that. Another glowstone at the back here. Redstone on that and then one more. And redstone on top of there and you should be almost at the top here. Now you want to come back down and you want to hop on top of this piston here. You want to face upwards and what you want to do is place a sticky piston on this second block down here from the top and then we need to get back over here and then place a block of redstone under um, this piston here. Now in front of this block of redstone here we want to place a block of our choice and then if we can place a wooden trap door uh, which is connected to the top side of this block here. Now come to the top and it should look something like this. What we need to do now is place a block of our choice above this piston here and then one more and then on this top half of this block here place a, your last wooden trap door on the top and then get your stone button and place it on the bottom or on this first block here and it should be on the ground. And that is basically it. All we've got to do now is get our armor stands and load it up. So what we might do is actually put a backing on here. So you put a block above that redstone there. And then what we need to do is just right click this face of the block here. It will place the armor stand down. Press the button once. And that uh, armor stand will go down. Press it again. Press the button again and it will go down. And then the last one, place it there. And then when we press this button, the bottom one will come back up to the top. So there we go, very simple but very awesome. Now I'm going to teach you guys how this actually works. So I've built this contraption over here above the ground just so you can uh, see it a lot better. 
And what we're going to do is I'm just going to press the button and just show you what it does. So as you can see, every time this bottom one here is getting flung to the top, and these two armor stands that are up here are getting moved down one. So um, this middle one here, if you watch it, will move down to this bottom bit here. This top one will move down to this middle section, and then this bottom one will come back up to the top here. Now how this works is when we press this button, it powers this piston here, which then updates this um, piston down the bottom here. Now as you can see it's extended, but this is a block update glitch. Now basically when this block of redstone comes down and then goes back up, it will set an update for this piston, which it will quickly go up and down as you can see. And then what that will do is it will unpower this redstone here, which allows this torch to turn back on. And when that, once that's turned on, it will power this piston here, and that's what fires this bottom um, armor stand back up to the top. So let's just do that again. So torch comes on, piston turns on, and then this armor stand gets flung to the top. Now while that's happening, these trapdoors are getting powered, and when they're powered, they get opened up. Here we're using a glowstone vertical. I'm not sure what it is, but basically when you put glowstone like this and you put redstone on top, it's basically vertical uh, redstone. And what it's doing is powering these trap doors and it allows this bottom one to come up to the top here. But also, as you can see, when these two trap doors open, um, this, this top one here goes down to this middle section and this middle one goes down to the bottom. So it allows for the arm stands to go down while letting this bottom one here go right up to the top. So hopefully that explains how it works. Just one little look at it again. So now what you can do is load up the machine. So simply put your armor on the armor stand, press the button, and then get your next set of armor. Press the button again, and then one more, we've got the diamond, pop that on there, and there we go, it will start cycling through all the armor stands now, so our iron, our gold, and our diamond. Now if you want, what I like to do is I like to just put a little frame around the uh, armor stand here, and then I also just like to put one more block there, just so it's in like a little contained area, and it makes it so the armor stand doesn't go... Uh, flying up in the air so as you can see that will go up into the air but when you put that block above it it will just go up to the top here and stop instantly so it's really awesome now one little extra thing as well is that you can tile this um, if you leave one space in between it so do exactly what we did but leave one space and then build it here again so we would dig our five long trench do seven down and just do that whole process again and you can have one basically right next to each other. So there we go, that's going to end off this redstone tutorial today. If you enjoyed this tutorial, make sure you remember to hit that like button because it keeps me motivated to make more of these tutorials and I know a lot of you guys want me to continue making them so make sure you hit that like button. If you want to keep update with these tutorials, make sure you subscribe. If you have any ideas, let me know in the comments because I do read them and I have taken um, suggestions in the past and that'll be it. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye